new to running or not even started yet but in need of some guidance, well, you've come to the right place. Yep, our mission today is to answer all your questions and also get you out there and enjoying running. I think we should start with kit. Thankfully, running is one of the cheapest sports to do, and that is part of its appeal. But having the right kit that is comfortable is seriously going to help with your motivation. Yeah, one of the most important parts when it comes to kit is your running shoes. Now, these don't need to be overly fancy, but if you are new to running, then we suggest you head into your local running store for some advice. You can explain to them your budget, where you are within your running journey, and they should be able to advise on suitable shoes for you. See, this is an investment for the future. Getting a good pair of running shoes that are going to support your body well will allow you just to get to work and increasing your running. Yeah, and the rest of the kit is less vital, really. I mean, you basically need a pair of shorts and a T-shirt. If you are going to go and buy yourself some running kit, look for that sweat-wicking fabric. And you've got options of going for something that's tight and fitting or something loose and baggy. It's totally down to personal preference. But I just want to make a quick note to any women watching this. It is worth investing in a sports bra. You need to look after your boobs, and comfort is also key. And I'm afraid a normal bra just won't cut it. A kit also actually has the potential to change how you feel about running, if it's kit that you're really excited to put on or you actually feel really good when wearing it, well, that's going to do a lot to your motivation for running and your progression. That's the straightforward part covered. Now, how do you actually get into running? And more importantly, how do you make sure that you can keep enjoying this wonderful sport? Well, you need to have a strategy and goals. And that could be something like just simply getting fitter and healthier. Maybe you want to go and meet people. It could be as simple as trying to get strong enough for a sport that you want to try. Is it the headspace? Maybe it's weight loss. It really doesn't matter. What matters is that it's important to you. Yeah, and once you have that sorted, you want to hold yourself accountable to that or perhaps have someone else hold you accountable. And we actually suggest writing it down, posting about it, or if you have an end target in mind, then sharing that openly. Now, if it's something that you think, oh, that would be nice, well, the likelihood of you actually achieving that are pretty slim. Yeah, and then you want to actually, once you've got that goal, break it down and make it into manageable chunks. Because if you have something too big and you end up missing the first few targets, it can suddenly get really demoralizing as it runs away from you. Instead, have small points which you can tick off along the way. Well, anyway, we will talk more about the plan and strategy very shortly. But first of all, let's run through a few points for helping you enjoy running. Variety. As humans, we like variety. It keeps things fresh, so apply that to your running. Whether you're mixing up your run routes, you're changing the effort of them, the distance, or even the terrain, it doesn't matter, but the fact that you're changing it is going to keep you motivated when it comes to your running. Find people to run with, be that running with friends, local running club, or maybe dragging some family members out. I've actually managed to drag my brother out a couple of times, who's a complete non-runner, but naturally, having that company on a run will allow time to pass more easily and make that run far more enjoyable. If you are struggling to find people to run with though, we suggest searching out a local running club, jumping on some Facebook groups, or perhaps going to your local running store who may actually have a weekly social run, which is a fantastic starting place for beginners. Use music. Why not treat yourself to some great tunes or listen to that podcast that you've just not found time for? See your run as a bit of a treat and very much your time. Record it. You can keep a track of your running in a diary, on your watch, or perhaps in an app. And by doing so, it can be incredibly motivating. You can start looking back at your progression and seeing just how far you've cut. Use rewards. There is nothing wrong with a bit of personal bribery. Maybe set yourself to do X amount of runs and then you're allowed to buy yourself a new piece of run kit. Whatever it is that motivates you. And if you have the chance of running point to point, this can be incredibly motivating because you have an end goal and target in mind. Now you can do this as a commute, perhaps home from work, or perhaps you get public transport partway and then run the rest, or maybe just get a friend or family member to drop you somewhere and then you run home.
Okay, so you've got your kit, you're motivated. How do you go about actually working out your plan? Well, let's say you're trying to run and build up to a 5K. Bit of a plug here, but I would recommend checking out our Couch to 5K video series and following that plan or any similar plan. And you will find that for beginners, there's a lot of stuff out there online for you to follow. Yeah, but if you're not after something quite so structured or goal-oriented, then we suggest following a few key points to make sure that you plan that running adequately. Pacing. You want to take it steady to start with, focus on building up the time and the distance, and then the pace will naturally come later on. And it's okay to include some walking, even important when you're starting out. So maybe just walk on the uphills, and as you are increasing that, you can start to decrease the amount of walking you do, which will naturally increase the running. It's really important to build your running gradually, enough that it tests you and progresses you, but also allows you to adapt and get stronger. If you build your running too quickly, you could run the risk of injury or it just simply being so hard that you lose motivation altogether. Have a weekly plan. So planning ahead, you can even go as far as putting your runs in your diary so you'll stick to it. And when you're making this plan and you're starting out as a runner, I would suggest having one day of running and then follow that with a day off to recover. And as you do build and you get stronger and fitter, you can look to do two runs in two days and have the third day off. But remember when you're running, whatever level you're at, recovery is just as important as the running itself. And finally, be flexible. This may sound like a slight contradiction to the previous point, but even with best made plans, life can sometimes just get in the way. And that's okay. Don't get too hung up on the occasional missed run. Park that, move on. Don't fall into the trap of trying to continually play catch up because you can really dig yourself a hole. And equally, if you want to swap out the occasional run with another form of exercise, such as a bike ride, that's absolutely fine. At the end of the day, running should make you feel good. Just remember your why and think about that high you get at the end of it. Yeah, and if you're new to running, we'd love to hear from you. Get involved in the comment section down below and let us know how you're getting on. And with that, we've got loads more content for you here on the channel, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of that. And if you've enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up.